So, welcome to Norwegian University of Life Sciences, one of the biggest and very known university of Europe. And in this university, we are dealing with the different aspects of life sciences study. So, we are studying also different uh, different animal models, like including honeybees, goats, foxes, horses, cows, and so on. Not only the life sciences, but of course, we are studying the economics, mathematics, computational biology, and so on. And precisely in my case, I am passionate to study the honeybees. Like in every every society, there is a myth about the bees. Bees are showing excellent uh, social society. That means in a honeybee colony, every member performs a specific task. Some be, uh, some sister bees become a forager. They are flying away from the hives and collecting pollen and nectar to feed their own family members. Some take care about the small kids and showing the nursing behavior. And of course, every hive contains one queen and few hundreds of drones. So apart from these few social characters, bees are also showing a very flexible longevity pattern. That means the time when bees are born, they have uh, they have the same chronological age, of course. But according to the the need of the hive, bees are performing different tasks. And because of the different tasks, bees are showing different longevity. So suppose if a bee become a forager, then bees can survive hardly for three to four weeks. While if a bee become a nurse, uh, showing a nursing task, then bee can survive for three to four months. Interestingly, in case of Norway, in Norway we have a very long winter, probably last for eight to nine months. So during the autumn, some bees transform into the winter phenotype, and those are called the winter bees. And winter bees can survive for eight to eight to ten months. So altogether, if I combine with the longevity, bees are showing very flexible longevity pattern. So take the example of a human that born on the 19th century, while the person that individual dies somewhere in the 1990s after 80 years, while the another individual is going to die somewhere in the 2400 somewhere. So at least need to survive 600 more years, 500 or 600 more years. So apart from the longevity pattern, bees are showing. Apart from the longevity pattern, bees are also showing also showing the flexibility in the the brain functioning. Precisely, I am interested to study the, the brain aging and we are interested on studying the glutamate synthetase that is a different kind of metabolic pathways in the brain along with the, the protein kinases and then the insulin signaling pathways. So altogether, it's a very passionate, it's a kind of, it's a very fascinating to work with the bees and you can feel the, if bees are happy, if they are sad, then you can feel their aggressions and their, their work. And of course, they play a very important role in the pollination in the society. So, imagine if there's a no honeybee in the planet, then probably people can eat only bananas. It's not possible to get any almonds. It's not possible to get different kind of tropical fruit. So, I will encourage all the people. Doesn't matter they are from the physics, they are from mathematics, they are from the life sciences, so on. Just work with the bees. You can feel better. Have fun. <laughs>